Day 5, Thursday, October 27, Genesis 5 and 1 Chronicles 1 1 4, Genesis 5 1 32 NKJV. This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female, and blessed them and called them mankind in the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Seth lived 105 years, and begot Enosh. After he begot Enosh, Seth lived 807 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Enosh lived 90 years, and begot Canaan. After he begot Canaan, Enosh lived 815 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. Canaan lived 70 years, and begot Mahalalel. After he begot Mahalalel, Canaan lived 840 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. Mahalalel lived 65 years, and begot Jared. After he begot Jared, Mahalalel lived 830 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. Jared lived 162 years, and begot Enoch. After he begot Enoch, Jared lived 800 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. Enoch lived 65 years, and begot Methuselah. After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God 300 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Methuselah lived 187 years, and begot Lamech. After he begot Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. Lamech lived 182 years, and had a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. After he begot Noah, Lamech lived 595 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. 1 Chronicles 1 1 4 NKJV. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Daily Deep Dive. I don't have anything to bring out on this chapter myself. I'm simply pasting the UCG reading program here which I thought was interesting. Someone once said that the most boring parts of the Bible are the begats, the genealogies. To most they are dry, uninformative lists of people who largely had no role in the narrative of Scripture. But genealogies can be quite instructive. Generally speaking, genealogies serve several functions. First, they provide a chronological framework. Second, the genealogies provide a history of the persons through whom God accomplishes His work. Through the genealogies we can see how God fulfilled His promises to certain people, such as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and David. But the greatest function in this regard is to provide a genealogy of Jesus Christ, the one through whom we have reconciliation with God and by whom came the means to fulfill our incredible human potential. Third, the genealogies can provide instruction and, sometimes, even show apparent divine involvement. When we examine the meaning of the roots of the names in the Genesis 5 genealogy, we find something interesting. Some of the roots are still debated by linguists, but most are settled. Adam comes from a root meaning red earth or man, who came from the earth. Seth comes from a root meaning appointed. Enosh comes from a root meaning mortal. Canaan, or more properly Kenan, comes from a root meaning spear or sorrow. Mahalalel comes from two roots meaning praised or blessed in El, God, 
and thus means blessed of God or blessed God. Jared comes from a root meaning descend or come down. Enoch comes from a suggested root meaning to inaugurate, dedicate, start up, or even to train or teach. Methuselah comes from two roots meaning either man and weapon or perhaps death and shall bring, thus possibly meaning his death shall bring. Lamech comes from a suggested root meaning powerful or wild or perhaps lamenting or despairing. And Noah, as is well known, comes from a root meaning to bring rest, relief or comfort. Putting all the names together and using the possible meanings that fit, we have, man, is, appointed mortal sorrow, but, the blessed God shall come down teaching, and, his death shall bring, those, despairing rest. While we should not place too much emphasis on this, especially since the root meanings are not certain, it is interesting nonetheless.